Brad McMillan, who many know as Big Mac, is a health hero and will share his story of using a ketogenic diet to overcome Cohn's disease. Brad is a founder and owner of CrossFit The Pound in Red Bank, New Brunswick. He's a retired RCMP officer and a proud dad. He has so much valuable information to share and his health transformation and incorporation of CrossFit along with a ketogenic lifestyle is inspiring. Good afternoon, it's Dr. Keenan here, and I'm here with Brad McMillan from CrossFit The Pound in Miramichi, New Brunswick. Right on, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, how are you today, Brad? I'm great, I'm great. Well, thanks for being here today, and uh, I just look forward to having you share your story of your health journey. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, for me, like I, I've been involved, you know, in lifting weights and diet and nutrition since I was 12. I really, I, I remember reading my first muscle and fitness magazine and I was just like, wow. Right. So I was always very keen on what I was eating and all that kind of stuff. But, but as you know, Dr. Keenan, the, the whole Western world was all high carbs, low fat for a long time. That's how it was. And that's how I did it. Eating six, seven times a day, high protein, no fat, taking the skin off a of chicken and eating gobs of uh, protein and, and carbs and rice and pastas and all that kind of stuff. Now, luckily for me, I was very active, so I didn't really get too, uh, you know, chubby, but I did. I was still, although I did work out all the time, I still wasn't from a body physique standpoint, I wasn't where I wanted to be. And I, and I did that for, you know, for, uh, I'm 40, uh, I'll be 49 in March, uh, but I did that for really the, for, until I was uh, 44, so 45. Same way. I just kind of teetered and tottered on the high carb stuff. And although it's fairly healthy, it's, it's just still wasn't getting me where I wanted to get. So I also have Crohn's disease. I, I've, I've had Crohn's disease since the year 2000. And I've been on every medication known to mankind for Crohn's. So finally, one day, my doctor told me, why don't you try the keto diet? It's free, <laughs> one. And two, the, my doc, uh, Dr. Uh, McQuaid, I'm yeah, Dr. McQuaid, she said a couple of her doctor friends that had Crohn's, they tried it and they got good results from the Crohn's standpoint. They didn't really talk about anything else. Okay. So I said, what the hell? I, I have nothing to lose. I'll give it a go. So for me, I'm, um, how would I put it? I'm an all in, all in type of guy. I don't like uh, easing into it. So I said, boom, I'm right into it. However, I just did kind of like rudimentary uh, um, information stuff. I was like, okay, that's, that's what I picked them. So I really didn't do it correctly right off the bat. I, I didn't, here's my biggest mistake was this, no electrolytes. The salt was not where I wanted, to, where it needed to be. And plus I was crossfitting very hard and I just did it too much. And I was like, holy God. So the keto food type of thing got me pretty quickly, but it was because of this information, no information actually. So then, this is the other thing, I had took a course called CrossFit Endurance in 2014. His name is uh, Paul DeAngelis out of uh, Ontario. He recommended right then and there, the keto diet. And I was like, wow. But then he explained the keto diet and I'm like, that's ridiculous. That's just, that's, that's nuts. I can't do that. And he's, but he said, no, Brad, really, this is, this is the way to go. He's been in doing this for 20 years, running marathons without anything to eat. And I'm like, you're nuts. I really believe that. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. So, um, so I just, I just reached out to him and he had a, an ebook. He said, Brad, just download his ebook. It was like five bucks. Follow this and you'll be all right. Sure enough, I followed point A to point B. I even, I took blood every day, just like I was a diabetic. And uh, I, and then he said, cause blood, he said, well, you can fool a lot of things, can't fool your blood. That's so, so, he, so when I did that, I started getting the results that I wanted and he really recommended the electrolytes and all that kind of stuff. So very quickly the, the switch turned and I'm like, wow, this is phenomenal. And I had more energy. I ate when I wanted to eat, uh, ate, Eight till I was full, I, and the, the whole intermittent fasting thing kind of came into as a result of just not being hungry because the fat is so satiating, plus the protein. You know, you didn't really, you didn't have to eat every two hours, which is what I normally did. So, 
my energy levels skyrocketed. My everything was, it, it was phenomenal. And I said, wow. So, and the coolest thing about it is though, my Crohn's was, went from very high active to, it just kept on going down and down and much more manageable, much more manageable to, to a place that I could do what I wanted to do. Even though I had active Crohn's, it was like, wow, this, this is just like what Dr. McQuaid had said could happen, did happen. So, so I, I started that, I would say like in 2000, I'm going to say 2015, 2016, I don't, I don't remember the exact time, but I've been on that uh, up until this recent diagnosis, was, we can talk about that later on, but I, I've been doing that for a long time and it's, I can say that it's very, uh, it's, it's not, it's simple, it's not easy at the first. As you get used to it, it's very easy. Oh, it's, it's ultra easy. And, um, and once you get results, and once you have unlimited energy, you're going to say, and your brain power is going to all of a sudden, you're going to be like, wow, you have so much energy. You're going to find yourself doing things like for me, for example, like housework and stuff like that, what I normally would never do. I'm like, what? I'm like, I got to do something because I'm just full of energy. Like I got to, so I'm, you know, so that, so that was also, you know, a, a bonus, I guess. Right. So, and then the workouts skyrocketed um all that kind of stuff so that's really my, my kind of health uh in a bubble uh over the last uh you know from 12 years old to 49 and i can honestly say that the low carb keto type of diet is the way to go for the vast majority of people uh that it can do it in a healthy way it's not going to you know give you heart attacks and like you know when you google keto and you talk to your friends they're going to say oh my god don't do that it's just not true. Uh, and uh, more evidence, uh, scientific evidence, and more people kind of read about it and really learn about it. It is a great way of living and it is your way of living. It's how you're, it's just how you eat and how you live the way it goes. Right. So, um, so yeah, so that, that's it. That's it in a nutshell for me. And I, and I, I would highly recommend it to, to anybody that asks and many people at our gym, uh, you know, I'm lucky enough to have a gym and have lots of clients that, that used, that have tried it, and used it, cured diabetes, cured it. Like people that were needles, diabetic through the roof, cured their diabetes in six months, gone. So if that doesn't tell you that this doesn't work, it's like, well, then you're just not paying attention or you're just a hater. I, I don't know. Sort of like, if you don't think Tom Brady is the best in the world, <laughs> you're 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 just foolish and putting the blinds on and the hater so it's the same way to, to the low carb diet it's it it really works and the biggest thing that i it's like people say that well you can't do this you can't do that which is there's restrictions but it's it's about the excess carbs it's not what we're afraid of carbs it's excess carbs is the one that's is the is the really bad thing excess and really most people in the world don't need a great crazy amount of carbs. They think they do, they don't, right? So, so that 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 is that's for me is is the big key for for uh, for people. It's just you, you gotta obviously eat lots, replace your carbs with fat because the fat's going to give you the energy. If you if you if you went uh, low fat, low carb, you know your body's going to basically catabolize itself and eat itself, which you don't want that, right? So you you got you're basically trading the carb source, which is limited. To an unlimited fat source so it's um I, you always i see these couple of these different uh uh images on facebook or or on the on the internet you know your body on on carbs is very you have a limited amount body on fat unlimited even just ingesting car just in fat, but your body fat itself like it's, you just use it so much and plus it's more much more calorie dense you know nine calories per per gram as opposed to four so it's just more sustained and all that kind of great stuff so you know i uh, i highly recommend it to people and uh not just diabetics but everybody uh, and a, if a person says they have to be uh they're they're worried about not eating bread not eating uh pasta rice etc right and i would say to them so you're a diabetic you'd rather give yourself needles but you want to eat bread. Like, I don't think that's a crazy, uh, you know, I'm like, what, really? The extreme part is, 
and they call us extreme for doing the low carb stuff, right? I'm saying to them, you're extreme because you you give yourself needles every day and you don't have to. So you're the one that's really extreme, not us. <laughs> that's what I look at it. So I, I find that's a bit of a, I'm not gonna say a cop out. I don't, don't want to you know look down on people, but it is a bit much saying like you you rather go this way, eat your comfort foods as opposed to being healthy and living a great life. Like and Brad too you know, the typical medical establishment, you know, there's yeah. just a, still a limited amount of my like doctors like myself, yes. you know, that, that feel that low carb nutrition is therapeutic. It really, it's medicine, you know, yes. for many, many diseases, just like diabetes, seizures, polycystic ovarian disease, uh, migraine headaches, bipolar disorder, ADD, it works for all these things, but it's still not mainstream. And so I think some patients are a bit hesitant in some of your clients because their doctors are a little bit kind of yes. fearful of it, even though we know now, if you look at the scientific literature, it only yes. takes you like a few minutes on Google to see yes. that hey, keto yes. diet works, it's proven, it's safe, it's effective. Long-term, like not just short-term, it's, it really is, right? Because obviously, and many people don't realize, like, you know, the keto diet was first introduced like for, for brain, right? For brain uh, issues in like the 1910s or 20s. You know, but when you look at from an, an ancestral standpoint, like, um, you know, I'm native, right? That's how we ate. All our lives until we tell, you know, till the, we were colonized, I guess, you know, that's how it was. You, we hunt and gathered. That's what we did. Ate meat, a little bit of, you know, uh, uh, vegetables from the, from the ground. But overall, that, that's what we did. In with the same people, a lot of the healthiest civilizations in the world, that's how they ate, you know, until they were introduced to the dreaded, you know, sugar. <laughs> so, and which is what we know now is sugar is by far. The worst drug out there it really is there's so many bad things it does to you and everybody has access to it you know what i mean like so you we could say that certainly you know bad drugs heroin and stuff like that, obviously pretty crappy but not everybody you just can't go to the store and get that stuff whereas you can go to any store and get sugar <laughs> you know so it's easily accessible to from a young, anybody from this age to whatever so it's right there in your face all the time on TV ads, parents, other people just talk, you know, that's what they eat like. It's just, so it's hard, like you said, the establishment is, is all over the place. So you're kind of going against the grain and every time you go against the grain, people like, you know, will call you, call you crazy. And I would say this, no, you're crazy. That, that's my view kind of view on it, right? So in a kind of a little funnier way, but you know, that's, that's that, right? Yeah. So Brad, maybe one of the things we can get into just a little is, you know, because I know you're an amazing keto advocate, but you're really a community advocate too. And you're also an advocate for change. And I think a lot of people, they run into troubles with keto because they say, my family doesn't understand. The people that I work with, they don't understand. So yep. how do we build this, Brad? Like, you know, maybe tell us a little bit about what you've done, like even in your own family, like how you support, because you've got young kids yes. and how you introduce this way of living yep. as as a long-term strategy, this is not just a one-off for you. Right. Well, you know, it, it really is all about education, right? So it's it just with anything in life, if, you know, uh, prejudice and stuff like that, you just got to educate the people. That's what it comes down to. And what, and I always just, you know, the diedoctor.com and there's simple just, you know, uh, pictures and stuff like that to show what it's really like. It is not as bad as, as you, or not as bad and as hard as many people think. And it really is just about edu education, just talking about them. So they ask you, well, really, why would fat be better? And I'm just saying, it just because it's more, it's just more dense, gives you more energy. It, it increases your brain power, the ketosis part, you know, so, but they really won't really believe it until you show it. This is what I do. This is what it's done to me. I'm Brad McMillan from Milgram. I'm not Brad McMillan from, you know, Moscow, some, some person on the internet that they don't know. So by me doing it myself, advocating at the gym. And we've had, obviously we had different uh, uh, seminars and uh, different things like that. And at my gym, there's a, you know, the, one of the first thing you see is eat meat, nuts, a little bit of fruit, a little bit of starch, but zero sugar. Enough to support exercise, but not, but not enough to, or not enough so that you don't get fat. So that's what, but the coolest thing about the ketosis part is that it'll take care of itself, the calorie-wise. You won't, you, you won't overeat. 
that that's that's the coolest thing. So it's 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 awesome in that way, right? So to get back to the whole, um, how do you introduce it? It's just about education, really, and just just advocating it and just talking about it and being pas passionate about it as well, you know, um, and not being deterred by, I guess, the outer establishment that would say that you know that we're crazy. And I would say, well, I I don't agree with you, and I have real world examples to show you that it works. And that and that's that's what I did, and that's what we've done. And uh, and the coolest thing about the real world examples is there are friends and families and, and neighbors. Yeah, you've seen them get what, on vacations, yes. feeling better. Um, again, losing the weight is kind of a, a, a benefit, but it's yeah. really feeling well and yes. the mental, mental clarity. I know that's something that people say to me all the time. It's just, I was living in this brain fog yeah. and I stopped eating sugar and my brain became clear again. For me, yeah. that's, that was one of the biggest things too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. And until you... Until it happens to you, you, you won't know that experience. But once it happens to you, you realize like, gee, I'm a lot smarter than I think. <laughs> that was, you, know, <laughs> you know, but that's, that's the way it goes. And, and, I, and really when it comes down to it, it's just, it's just about uh, setting an example and doing it and, and, do, and going from there. Uh, so, so yeah, so that, that's what I've done. And, and I had pretty good success with, with myself, but with other, uh, my you know, friends and uh, family members and, and gym members and stuff like that, right? So, you know, with you with the kids, it's a little bit tougher because, they're, you know, kids are a little more picky, but you can kind of just kind of sneak it in there as, as the days and weeks go along so that's a little bit better and better and better, you know? And I'll, it, it's, it certainly is a little tougher for, for your young folks, but for them, I would just say, you know, just monitoring the sugar intake as much as you can. Right. And then and then go from there. Certainly don't want, they still want to have go to birthday parties and stuff like that. I mean, we're not gonna um, you know, take the fun away from them, but you just gotta just relax. And and as long as you are doing it, you know, for the most part, there you can certainly have days or, and a few days here and there you can introduce some sugar back in and it's not gonna hurt, it's not gonna mess you right up that you know, that type of thing, right? So um, and I learned that as well because at the very beginning I was super, super, super strict. But the more I read on it, the, I realized I can introduce lots of fruits. I can introduce, you know, more starchier carbs if, if I wanted to. I would only recommend that if you are really got your P's and Q's and, you know, all that together. But once you get better at it, you can certainly add in starchy, start like, you know, uh, sweet potatoes, more vegetables, uh, uh, lots more fruits, lot, berries and apples, stuff that are a little bit lower in sugar as opposed to like bananas and dried fruits and stuff like that right but you can even those you can still introduce them but in lower amounts and uh but i wouldn't really recommend that until you start getting really where you want to be then you can kind of add back in add back in and how i learned that was again from dr or dr sorry uh, paul DeAngelis in, in ontario he said once you get to a certain point add in uh, a cup of berries check to see how long it takes your sugar to go up and down and stabilize again and you and if your sugar is good you could add in a cup and a half so at my height of, of, um, of uh, the keto lifestyle and low carb lifestyle, I could eat 100, 150 grams of, of carbs, wouldn't bother me one bit as far as being in ketosis in, in that, that zone because I was very active and I was years into a fat adaptation. So I could add that back in without it affecting me one bit. So basically at that point in time, uh, so you remember like those old arcade games, you wrap, you wrap the game. That's how I did it. So, uh, but that's a year, uh, you know, years and a year plus being very, very diligent at it. Right. So, yeah. And that's it. And I like that word fat adapted because that's what people become, right? Your body. Yes. And that's the whole thing about the ketosis that I tell patients is give this a good six weeks just to you know, yes. give that length of time to try because it's such good training for your body to get out of sugar mode into fat yeah. burning mode. Yes. Um, and maybe Brad, just tell us a little bit more because you mentioned that you're a CrossFit athlete as well. And you talked about, you know, you've been able to do your workouts and still tolerate carbs, but maybe just yeah. tell us as well, because a lot of people are interested in the fitness aspect because we know that health is about nutrition, but we need to move, you know, a movement yes. is a key component. Yep. So tell us how CrossFit's really been a, a key part of your life and, and the changes that you see in individuals, even just from a CrossFit uh, program. Well, yeah, so, so what I, was, I had said to you earlier, right? You can't out-train a bad diet 
and you can't out diet no training. The, the food part gives your body the energy to move. The CrossFit and working out properly gets you to move better. And once you're moving better, more efficiently, uh, in a safe way, then you're gonna you're just gonna go up and up and up. And the part of um, my CrossFit journey was that you know I've been CrossFit for 2010, like quite some time. And uh, I always, like I said, I ate, excuse me, like uh, a lot of carbs and stuff back then. And I, and I had I did well. I worked out and had plenty of energy. But once once my body got fat adapted, so then it went like, wow, I could do anything that I wanted. Uh, it was it was bananas. I mean, uh, I, I I can't even uh, really put it into words. Other than if you want unlimited energy and if you want to be able just to roll out of bed and work out, roll out of bed, go for a, a a marathon run, roll out of bed and lift some heavy weights, roll out of bed and just feel awesome. The keto way is the way to go. You'll know. And once my body became fat adapted, I I could do whatever I wanted without any energy crashes uh a lot of times before that i would go home and after i went to the gym in the morning i would go home at nine o'clock or ten go for a nap not anymore that didn't happen because i had those sugar crashes i was going up and down up and down but once i did the the keto for a while i when i became fat adapted unlimited energy throughout the whole day never even never wanted to sleep i was much more productive as a person overall i i you know so the coolest thing about it is that when you have all this energy, it's just you want to use it. It's impossible to have energy and just kind of sit back like this. You're going to want to do something. So that could either be working out, playing with your family, playing with your kids, being more productive at work, being a more productive uh, husband or wife. That will all get better. And with CrossFit, and I know I'm, I'm a little bit of a CrossFit bias, but it's really just functional fun training, total body. Head, you know, head to toe, not smaller exercises, like big, big time exercises. That's going to make your life better. Believe me. And it's just a matter of giving the time. So it's a matter of giving the keto diet the time for it to work. CrossFit and that type of training, giving that time to work. If your body, if you let your body uh, go for the last 20 years, you're not going to get that miraculous body uh, that you want in a week. So give it time. And I know, and I'm believe me, I'm as impatient as any person in the history of the world. I'll tell you that. So, if I can do it, you can do it, and I and I really believe that. Uh, um, but I also say, I said this on your a couple of your uh, posts. I said just, but just listen to you. Listen to the diet doctor. There's no secrets. It's not some. And we're not trying to hide some. Get just go do this. This magic. No, it's not. Do this, this, and this. You'll get this result. Just listen because. It's like um, success leaves crumb. Like there's a pattern, right? Like you leave, you, you follow what's successful. Just do what they did. You'll be successful too. Don't try to reinvent the wheel when the wheel has already been invented and perfected. Just do what you know. What Dr. Keenan says. Do what uh, the doc, diet doctor says on there. It's very. It's really when you look at it, it's very simple. It's nothing extreme, right? So for for a man uh, or men and women between. 70 grams of protein for a, a smaller lady to upwards about 130, maybe 150 grams of protein for a bigger man, protein, fat between 100 and 250, depending if you're a smaller woman or a bigger man, right? And then your carbs under, you know, under 20 at the beginning, I would recommend for sure. But once you get a little better, you can add up to 30, 40, see how, see how your body reacts. Your body reacts good at 20, add in 10, go to 30. How does your body react? If you, your body reacts well to that, go to 40, go to 50, but then your body will Okay, 70 is the top. That your body starts to get back into the not so good feeling again, then, then you know. And that's exactly what Paul DeAnne told me. Add in until you feel it's not what you want. And for me, I was lucky enough to, that I was up, I could go fairly high. So I like fruits, uh, berries, strawberries. That's what I really hooked on to. And, and uh, uh, I ate lots of salad, like high fat salads with full fat dressing that I, that I make. And the dressings, well, you make a salad that's humongous, right? So the plate, the plate is this big, but it's just almost no carbs in it. And it's very filling. And just by looking at it, it, it excuse it, that, that's a big meal. So it, it takes you away from that diet where, you know, you're allowed eating, looking at a piece of bread, 
you're allowed eating this one half a grape and you're allowed eating that one one almond <laughs> that's not what that's not what this diet is about you're going to be able to eat what you want within those guidelines pretty much until you're full really and, and uh until you're satisfied and uh and, and, and real, food, real food like you said there's no good yes real food food. yes exactly. like i tell people it's the the basis of it, it this is a whole food way of eating yeah this is a exactly. very natural way of yes. doing things and your body very quickly tells you yeah. and that's what i like too it really promotes that awareness because yes. you say oh this is how i feel if i eat this or this is how i feel if i eat something else exactly. and and that's the connection we all need right we just have to feel more comfortable um in our bodies yeah, exactly. And, and like you said, it's whole food, real food. People get kind of freaked out about keto. They think all we do is eat nothing but bacon and, and, and fat bombs and stuff like that, right? Now, good bacon is really good. But if you get the crappy stuff from, uh, I don't want to say certain places, like, you know, the, 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 the mass produced bacon with nitrates and all that, not so good. But you get your bacon from real sources, big juicy fats, of, big juicy cuts of beef chicken with the skin on from real sources that's what you want that that's the key and what a lot of people get kind of a little bit mixed up on as soon as they see keto they think it's healthy not necessarily just because it says keto doesn't mean it's healthy for you because when you you can get keto stuff in boxes all over the place right because once the marketer found out we can sell this and everybody piles on so certainly those things have their place i'm not saying don't do that but that should be very low on the on the kind of the totem pole of your of your food pyramid, right? Those supplements, but the base is healthy, full fat meat, uh, meats, uh, protein, fish, fish, f- full eggs. That's your base. A little bit of salads and stuff like that to kind of keep you satiated. A little bit of fruit for the flavor. A little bit of starch if you want it, but you got that's got to be earned. I, that's the way I would put it. It's got to be earned towards the end of it. And then you'll be rolling. And then once you realize that that's the way you're, you feel, you won't want to eat that stuff anymore. All those cravings will go away. Believe me, they will. You may not feel it. You may like feel like, oh, my God, I need to go get this uh, piece of bread. But in time, you're going to be able to walk in any bakery and say, yeah, not for me. Really, that, that, that'll come. But again, it, it, as with anything, it's a little bit, a little bit of work, a little bit of patience, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and to make those healthy swaps, like you said, yes. you know, there's always the alternatives, and that's what we want to teach people is how to have some healthy options. You yes. Know? Yeah. Um, for example, there is keto bread, right? And you can. Yes, make certainly. Bread. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. Well, that want their toast and. And that's why I tell individuals, just learn these things and then you'll start to incorporate them. Then your family can start to incorporate them and then the changes start to happen. Yes, um, absolutely. And, uh, and what, what everybody will see is like, you do it, you're going to get a dramatic e- decrease like in, in body, body fat loss very, very quickly. It's going to plateau a little bit, but uh, you're, going to, you're going to see it pretty fast. That is pretty much a guarantee. I don't know of anybody really that really, I mean, they did it right that in, in a month, they were like, holy God, I gained a whole bunch of weight. Well, then if that happened, you didn't do it right. I just, that's just the way it goes, right? So if you do it right, just by listening to you, following the, the guidelines, you'll be rocking and rolling in, in two weeks to a month. And then from the month on, because that's the hard part is getting started and kind of getting through that, that wall. And once you get going, it really is a smooth sailing after that. The rough waters are, are at the beginning. And, uh, but if, but if done properly, the rough waters will be very, actually very minimal. They'll, they'll be not a great big wave. They'll just be maybe a little bit. And then you'll, you'll really start to, uh, uh, start to really, really glow. Yeah. And I know, Brad, just because you are an athlete and a keto follower as well, a lot of people ask about supplements. So what yeah. is your regime? Like what do you- Well, I, 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 I do this and I, most of the supplements are fairly economical as well. They're nothing really that extreme. I, I take a ZMA, like a zinc and magnesium supplement. Um, and I take an electrolyte formula. I just, I get it from my, my guy down in Rogersville. It's just a sugar-free electrolyte formula. And it's, you can get it flavored through like, and it's naturally flavored, not, not uh, uh, like sugar flavor, right? So, and uh, that's just a BCAA formula that has electrolytes in it. And one or two scoops of that 
some Z ZMA and I um, and zinc, but that's all in the same formula. That's really it. And I take some multi multivitamins, um, vitamin D. Um, what about MCT? I know you. Have oh yes, I forgot all about that. Exactly. MCT is really good in this way. That is like instant energy. It's like drinking energy. Like boom, it goes directly because that cannot be processed and stored as fat. It just goes right into your system. And what most people fail on, as far as the, the right off the bat, is not enough fat. Like you, the, the, the seventy grams is not enough. You can't go that low on carbs and be low on fat. And the MCT oil, just two two um, uh, tablespoons, is 30, 30 grams of fat. So if you, not for me, I'm, I'm about like, if I, if I, especially if I'm on the road, I would take, you know, uh, four or five uh, uh, cups of that. And I just drink, I just, I'm burping a lot. I just drink that out of that, right out of the bottle. It's kind of strange, but once you get used to it, it's just like, oh, here you go. I take that. That's what I do. Uh, that's my morning drink really. And uh, I just take that and I am good to go. I, I can uh, pretty much do what I want. <laughs> so as far as like physically wise, uh, not right now because of my current situation, but the, but before my uh, current cancer situation, I, I, I could really do whatever the hell I wanted. Now, in any, in any CrossFit athlete out there knows what, I'll give you an example, knows what the workout Murph is. It's a very popular workout. It, it, it's a one mile run, 100, uh, 100 uh, pull-ups, uh, uh, 200 push-ups, 300 uh, squats, and a mile run, right? So at my peak, I did that workout two times right in a row. Bang, bang. I did it once by myself because I want to get a good score. It took off about a half an hour. Then I did it with my gym members. And I was like, I could do it again. And I'm like, that was, so that was a couple of years ago. Uh, when I, I don't recommend it to anybody, but I was just, it was just kind of a test to myself. And I passed with flying colors. And that could not have been done the way I'd ate before. Because I would have just been, oh, God, that's it. Here I had, you know, uh, just tons of energy to do it, right? So, um, so yeah, so I, I really, I'm a big advocate, obviously, of it. And I'm a big advocate of the CrossFit. And the whole part of CrossFit is just that it's just about moving properly. Any exercise program in conjunction with your new keto, low-carb lifestyle, because that in and of itself, while it's good for your insides, your outsides, your body, that needs to be worked as well. It, it is truly a one plus one equals three. Individually, they work okay. You can, if you train really hard, you're going to be strong and all that kind of stuff, but you won't be so good inside. You you diet crazy awesome yeah you're going to be good on the outside but you're not going to be really strong on the on the or sorry going to be good on the inside not so strong on the outside you want both to be to live long and healthy and I I, I always tell people this is going to be kind of funky there uh, you, when you want to be you know 70 80 years old I say this you want to be kicking ass not having somebody wiping your butt that's <laughs> so that so. We have at our gym, it's funny, we have an eight o'clock class. The average age, I'm going to say is 66, 67. And these men and women are rock stars. Holy God. They are in the one percentile of the world of their age. No doubt about it. Because they can run push-ups, squats, kettlebell swings, roll, bike, ski, skip. Amazing. And they're all 60-some years old. And everybody has had their first day and they, they are now excelling, but they started here and they are now up here just by through constant, constant work. Right. And, and as anybody that works hard, hard work always pays off. Think of something, doc, that you worked hard at that, that you weren't rewarded for. Really? Like you really worked hard, like, you know, schooling, exercise, whatever it is being, whatever. Right. If you really work hard at it, truly work hard at it, you will get rewarded. And, and exercise and diet is no, no different. Just like my new CrossFit journey. Yes. There partly before. So now yes. I am on a very steady path and I know yes. that the rewards will be there. So yes. Brad, you know, today, I think, I don't know how people can leave this. So we've talked about mental clarity, increased unlimited energy, yeah. um, feeling good, moving in your body, you know, coming, overcoming Crohn's disease. And this is what you can get, the, the many benefits of a ketogenic, low-carb uh, lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, what, what's, what's the downside? You're going to look awesome and feel awesome. 
I'm not really a down. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, Brad, yeah. um, you are so motivational. I've gone to your gym. So tell us a little bit more about how people can follow you and a little bit more about your gym specifically. Oh, well, it's pretty easy to follow me. I, I'm, on, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. You can just, my, like Brad McMillan on Facebook and Instagram, or you can follow The Pound also on Facebook and Instagram. We're, we're pretty active on, on social media. So you just got to contact us through that way. We have a, we have a humongous gym up the road up here in Hill Ground. It's the biggest CrossFit gym in Atlanta, Canada. It's the biggest CrossFit gym east of uh, uh, Ontario. Uh, so it's, it's massive. So we have a great gym, great coaches. And uh, all they got to do is just, just, go on, just, just Google the pound, Google Brad McPhil, and you'll, you'll find me pretty quickly. And we answer our, our emails and our Facebook stuff very, very fast. So if you want to get started with us, it's, it's as simple as walking through that door. And many people, they get a little scared about it. I just tell them this. Everybody's had their day one. Everybody made them a little bit apprehensive and like, can I do it? But these are just mere machines, right? We're not, we're not some freaky uh, Olympic hopefuls. We're all just normal people. But everybody has went through that door, went through it. And then, and I can, and I can also say this, anybody that has ever come to my gym and given me one month of hard work, they're, they're like, wow. Their only dismay is that, or the only issue would be like, I should have started earlier. Same thing that's going to happen with you with this low carb diet. The only thing you're going to get mad at, you're going to say, God, I could have been doing this 15 years ago or 10 years ago or whatever it is. That's the only thing you're going to be a little bit like, mad about. It's the same thing with, with our gym. Uh, that's the only thing you're, you're going to say, geez, I could have been doing this for the last 10 years. Right. That's it. Well, it's always a pleasure, Brad, to see you and to hear from you. Thanks so much for your time. And I'm sure we'll chat again very soon. Have a great day. Right on. Thank you. I hope you've been inspired by Brad's story. Continue to follow him on Facebook and Instagram.